Hi there folks and welcome back to CNC Modeler, it's great to have you here. Today we're going to have a look at my 1L D5S teardown and some bearing replacements. So uh, if you do like the channel, please do subscribe to the channel. Um, you know, it helps other people find me and uh, helps me produce more content. If you like the videos, obviously do like them because that points people in the right direction. And if you want notifications, you know what to do. So what we're going to do here is just quickly go through the teardown. So you undo two grub screws, which loosens out those cross rails and allows you to slide them out and then take the extruder out. We're then looking at uh, taking the cover off the top. So there's a couple of nuts at the front of the uh, top cover of the D D5S. And then um, if you look down the back, uh, there's two bolts that go up from underneath and they uh, go into standoffs that are in the cover, you know, sort of fixed into the cover. So you pull those two screws out and then when we get to there, the cover just uh, lifts off and pulls forward. And so now, went to basically there's a casting in the top of the uh, printer that holds the XY table and that's held on by three screws at the front which I've just loosened off and three screws at the back now I've got some insulation on the back of my printer to try and keep some heat in when it's enclosed so I just have to push the, uh, the uh, Allen driver through that um, so once you've got that loosened off then I realize that actually there's a load of stuff I need to take off before I can get that casting out um, uh, so, but first off, I thought, well, maybe I can get these uh, sliders out without taking it apart. But obviously, that uh, was a no-go, so I gave up on that app pretty quickly. Um, but I'd recommend you do all of this once you've got the XY table out, rather than uh, doing it whilst it's still up there in in the uh, actual machine. So, if we go back to looking at, well, how do we get that XY table out? Um, so I uh, realized that uh, obviously you need the lead screws and the rails out because they run through the center of that. So I just wind the bed up slightly by hand. Try not to do it too fast because you generate current. That's what the display is flipping for. And get in there with a uh, arm driver and just loosen off the top part of the coupling that's onto the uh, lead screw. And then I'm undoing the tops of the rails there's two polycarbonate caps if you like that sit over the top of the rails there so you just take those out and the rails come free uh, from the base really easy um, and then uh, that one took that cap took a bit of getting off uh, but a bit of brute force and uh, yeah so now we should be able to just lift the rails out put them to one side and then because we've undone the coupling just lift the whole bed and the lead screw out in one piece so now we're we kind of get there now um so the next piece really is i had another go and then it's like oh i can't get the belts off more importantly the um stepper motor on the right hand side uh, you can't actually get in behind it to get the belt out you can on the oh sorry on the right hand side stepper you can get it out the left hand side you can't so you need to take that off and there's three nuts that hold a metal bracket that holds the stepper on there so you just take those three nuts off and with those nuts undone and off the stepper assembly with the bracket just comes away finally there's some of the cabling that goes to the two well the cabling that goes to the two um, uh, limit switches on the top of the printer and also to the lighting uh, which I've taken off my machine um, that, that had to be pulled back I tied a little knot in the end of the limit switch uh, for one of the axes just so I know and there you go the whole uh, basically undo those uh, screws that are holding it in and that's the whole XY table out so uh, now we're looking at, at disassembling the XY table so there are grub screws uh, that uh, are in the little retaining collars so I've just loosened those off and then slide the shaft backwards and forwards and do that on all the rails um, what you do find is sometimes you've just got to pull the bearings out so there's bearings pressed into the castings um, they've got shoulders on them just so sort of carry some thrust so yeah so there's collars on the shafts that push up against the bearings and the bearings have shoulders which push up against the castings so you can take these all off um, I've been putting them back together once I've got the sliders off in the right orientation just so I know how it all goes together 
And then we just look in these sliders are either clamped to the belts with little brackets or for the some of the sliders there uh, actually the belt runs through the middle of the, the bearing block if you like and uh, these are the blocks that have the bushings in that I need to replace and they just uh, the four screws and then uh, I've pressed out the bushings and these are the actual bushings that were inside those bearing blocks I want to replace them with an oil like bearing so a much better quality thing um, these pressed out fairly easily but the oil like bearings that I've got are too small so I've found some that are the same size as the PTF, uh, PTFE inserts and hopefully they'll be fine they are short whereas the uh, phosphor bronze bearings I got were the full length so I hope you enjoyed that um, it's a bit of a blast through really uh, so if you do enjoy the stuff please do consider subscribing to my channel uh, perhaps have a look at my uh, website I'm hoping to update that soon and uh, if you want to look at, have a look at any of my other content then check out the links at the end of the video so thanks very much for watching see you again next time cheers <laughs>